Welcome everyone to another RGI Easy Sewing tutorial and um, today what we're going to tell you about is something that I know you will be very excited to learn that you can do yourself. You know um, if you are into sewing and you've been into sewing for a while you will be familiar with a bias binding. Very often you would go to a fabric store or an area where you can get sewing notions to purchase your bias binding but you will find sometimes that they do not have a color that matches your project or perhaps the, the creation that you have in mind, whatever is available is not suitable for that. So what we want to show you today is how to create your own bias binding. Let's do this. Whenever you're making bias binding, you cut the fabric on the diagonal okay so we have our 90 degree angle here and we are going to cut across on our 45 degree angle you need to determine the size that you would like your bias binding to be Okay, so we have our first line and if I would like my bias binding to be let's say an inch wide I measure one inch now you need to take into consideration that you're going to need approximately a quarter inch for sewing the bias binding so for example in this instance where I am cutting the bias binding one inch wide it means that when I am ready to sew I am going to have well by the time I'm done sewing my finishing with the bias binding will be less than half an inch wide Okay, so we have one inch right here. We're just going to put our final cut right here. And there we have our one inch wide bias binding. Okay, now earlier on I said, remember when you stitch so let's say here this would be a stitching line this is approximately a quarter inch wide we have our second stitching line a quarter inch wide and by the time we are done this would be our finishing size of this bias binding okay so it's just a little less than half inch wide just about a third okay so we're going to do another one but this time I'm going to make a larger piece of bias strip or you can say bias strip you can say bias binding they're the same thing so in this instance, I'm going to go an inch and a half wide. So when I am complete with my finishing, after I have sewn my quarter inch on each side, the remaining measurement I would have once I have properly used my bias is half inch. Okay, and this is our inch and a half wide bias binding. Ironing about a quarter of the material. Okay, so we have a quarter done on both sides. And now we're folding for our finishing. And 
we are going to fold. So guys, there you have it, bias binding to match your project. We have this one which is about an, a third of an inch and then we have here the half inch bias binding. You can use your bias bindings in your necklines, at the edges of sleeves and just in various parts of your garments just to give it that unique look, that um, unique feel that you are going for. So, so thank you guys for joining us for another video. I hope you enjoyed this information on how you can make your own bias bindings and I hope that you will be using it in your next project. Comment below and feel free to send us photos of the bias binding that you create. Until next time, bye!